This video is sponsored by Music Magpie. For more details, please look in the description. So this is Manchester Airport. It's 5.20 in the morning. It'll be about this time when I'm back in Manchester Airport and all these city fans behind me as well on the return journey. So it's going to be a long day, probably 26, 27 hours awake. It's in theory a dead rubber at Shakhtar Donetsk. Not a lot to play for. So I think it's fair to say that the people on this flight and obviously the ones who made it independently as well are the city diehards who we're going to meet quite a few other things today. It's very yeah. early. <laughs> Yeah. I much more prefer to do this than work, so... And, it, yeah. and it's somewhere Definitely. we've probably never go to otherwise, without yeah. this, somewhere a bit different to go to. And you know what, you see lots of people that you only see at these games. So it's that family thing, it's fantastic. Uh, ready to go now, just uh, waiting for the last of the paperwork to be signed off. But they won't be closing the aircraft doors, pushing back from standard. Well, I thought for £300 a day trip to a, a war zone in minus temperatures and it's a dead rubber. Got nothing else to do. Day trip, madness. Three hours, see the sights, Freedom Square. And then it's another ground off the list. Oh, it's good value, yeah. Well, it helps, it helps with £6.50 thrown in for the match tickets. That makes it seem a little bit more uh, worthwhile. <laughs> well, if it had been £2.60, and 40 for the max ticket, it would have seen straight a different kind of trip in effect. But uh, yeah, you can't, can't knock it really. The most important thing for me is to watch the Youth Champions League game, which kicks off at one o'clock this afternoon. Why? Um, because my son Edward will be playing in that game. Yes. Uh, right through the generations, granddad to dad to me to Ed, we're all blues, yes. It makes a big difference to the fans, that, doesn't it? I think so. I think we'd all like to see one of them come through. And if it's a City fan as well, it's just a bonus. Yesterday, Went to bed about nine. Line went off at three o'clock this morning. Shower, all ready to the airport before o'clock check in. What time do you think you get home tomorrow? Uh, we're due to land at ten to four. It says so. Half four, quarter five, hopefully. Back in work. Quarter past, quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. Yeah. What are you doing here? It's a dead rubber. Every game, you, you know me. <laughs> got to be done on it. It's a city game, it doesn't matter where you play. It doesn't matter. If There's we play, no question in your mind as to whether you'd come because it's never, a dead rubber? Never. Not at all. The only limitation would have been time off work. The time off work I got meant I did, did the day trip. I could have got more, but then I missed a few more away trips, you know, overnight trips. So. No, it's never in doubt. Do you go to every game? Every game. Every game, home and away? I don't do the friendlies. I need, I need my money for the proper football. Contrary to popular belief, we're not going on a shopping trip. We're actually coming to watch the football. I know it's bizarre that females do that, but we do. And I'm saying that because when we went to Naples in match day three, was it four? We sat on the plane, it was about to take off, and the chap opposite said to him, are you two going to the football as well? So I'd just like to make that claim for female football fans. We do understand it most of the time, but we quite enjoy it actually, and that's what we do. So we're past halfway to Kharkiv now, and it's time for something to eat. Um, what's the food like, John? Uh, not too bad, I've probably just woke up, but it's breakfast and I'm a bit parky, so why not? that it'll be a, by a police escort so same as here all the coaches will go in convoy together and um, so they might be a bit of waiting around but nothing nothing too much so here we are in the center of Kharkiv which of course isn't to the home city of Shakhtar Donetsk they're based a little way away from here and the reason why the game's being played in Kharkiv is because uh, the home area, the Donbass area, is actually a war zone. 
um, or certainly a very tense area. So the game's been moved here to Kharkiv, about 150 miles away or so. Now I have a particular personal connection to Ukraine because my father-in-law was Ukrainian himself. Here's what he looks like. So there he is with my sons when they were a little, a little younger, but these days, sadly, he's passed away. However, when he found out uh, that we were going to Kiev on one of the visits previously, he wondered whether they spoke Ukrainian there. And I wonder whether they speak Ukrainian here as the first language. After all, it is Ukraine. So I've been asking a local tour guide who's been with us what language they speak here as their first language in Kharkiv, even though it's in Ukraine. The thing is, I don't want to stress uh, uh, our attention on what uh, language we speak. The most important thing that Kharkiv is also very national. There are a lot of people who supported uh, uh, the revolution of dignity, and uh, th there were a revolution. Re uh, there were people gatherings here as well during revolutionary times, and that's during why the it's recent Freedom revolution. Square. Yes. So what have you made of the city? Well, it's all right. It was a bit of an adventure getting money. No, no <laughs> one speaks Nobody English. Nobody speaks English, but there we go. We should have just followed everybody else and trying to, instead of trying to jump a queue. Well, we went into the place we went, and they were giving them in bundles. So I don't know what on earth the, the, the exchange rate is like. But um, I'm sure these 500 ones are not particularly going to be helpful. <laughs> you buy a beer and it costs, what, 20, is it? Something like that. So, yeah. okay. What do you think of it? It's it's quite old, but the, some of the buildings are quite nice. Compared that's to- It's spectacular, that church, yeah. isn't it? It's quite Russian though. I thought it would have been like, considering all like the stuff going on between them, I thought it would have been more of its own separate thing, but still amazing. You know, you wander about the city and you find some real hidden gems. From the outside, this looked like a railway station, but when you come inside, it's actually a meat market. It's very half and half. There's a lot of nice places, but then if you go down the back roads, then you actually see what actually Kharkiv is all about. There's little, like it's like little shanty shops and everything. It's, it's so cheap, it's unreal. It's like, it's like Manchester in Harrods. <laughs> and as the day is going along, so it's getting colder. Gonna have to put my hat on in a minute. And also getting snowier. And you can't come to somewhere like Ukraine and not have a tank in the background, can you? And by the way, this country's called Ukraine, not the Ukraine. As my father-in-law always told me, the Ukraine was how they called it when it's part of the Soviet Union. The proud country of Ukraine is what it's called, Ukraine. Now this is actually a, a Ukrainian delicacy called Pirahe. And John's just trying one now, so a bit, a bit like Master Chef. We're going to get a verdict now. What do you, what do you think? It's like mashing pasta. Mashing pasta. <laughs> what, what are you eating there? I think it's uh, vegetable soup, but it's only hot potatoes. Yeah, potato soup. Potato soup. And uh, and I think that's meatballs. You've got the. Yeah. Uh, like IKEA meatballs. Oh, IKEA. IKEA meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a selection of pirahe. There is cheese in this. And chicken. There, there is. is cheese in them, yeah. It's yeah. a warm you up for the match. Yeah. So then that was the 45 minutes, first 45 minutes that I was hoping for. 
in another significant game for me personally last season. The game at Leicester City uh, was my 2000th City game and City were well beaten that day. Today is my 1000th City away game and it looks like the same thing could happen today. It was a good trip. Um, wasn't too happy with the performance, but yeah. <coughs> no injuries for the uh, for the derby on uh, on Sunday. So you're quite philosophical, then. Eh? Yeah, I could say so. Yeah, yeah. What were the positives? Anything positive? Um, like I said, no injuries uh, for, the, for the game on Sunday. Yeah. It was cheap. It was cheap. <laughs> the beer was cheap. The beer was good. Other than that, it was just what you expected. Glad there was nothing to play for. We need to get that monkey off our back and get back on the one that we need for Sunday, where we keep winning and keep going for the <coughs> keep beating them. That's all that matters. Any regrets about coming on the trip? No. Come again anytime. Really enjoyable. Now I just want to get home and get to bed. Anyway. I thought it was something what I expected. I thought we might have been a drop. We could have got a draw at least. We should, but I thought we should have won really, to be quite honest. But um, with the team that we played, I think it was maybe it should, should be a draw. I don't know. How does it leave things for Sunday now? Oh, strong, very strong. So I think that's, I th I'm not even worried about today. Sunday's going to be the one. I think we've got the team to do it on Sunday. You were up at the crack of dawn this morning, in fact, before that. Yeah. It's going to be dawn again before you get home. Was it worth coming home this way? Of course it was. City. Oh, typical city back again, wasn't it? Mm. Don't you think? You don't really think that. Well, I don't know. I suppose it gave him the chance to look at the youngsters, didn't it? And the second string. I'm not sure that the second string would be good enough to play on Sunday, but they're not going to anyway, are they? So... It's not going right. to affect anything on Sunday, is it? No, not at all. And we'd have won the group before we got here today, haven't we? So we all just froze our bits off for the sake of <laughs> seeing another game, didn't we, really? Still so another five hours and you'll be home. Exactly. Maybe. I think we were all right. I think we did all right with the team that we put out, but my name's Sunday, isn't it, really? If we win on Sunday, everything's good. Is it worth the trip? Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Come again. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely. Definitely come back. Come back in May. Kiev, hopefully. But yeah, it's good. It's good. Well, it, it was like a, an old typical City performance in many ways. They had all the balls, 16 corners against two, lost to one, and Shakhtar had three attacks, two goals. So it was a little disappointing, but ball possession very good, finishing very poor. How did your Edmund play? What do you expect me to say to that? He had a super game, he played ever so well at the back. So, back at Manchester Airport, it's time is it? It is now 4.39. It's more than 24 hours since we uh, set off. It, you sound as rough as I feel. Yeah, I'm shattered. Absolutely shattered. Won't be doing a day trip again. <laughs> was it worth it? It was worth it, but I think I'll stick to my three days because I can't recover after this. <laughs> I'm going to sleep tonight. Yes. Uh, see you at the Derby. I'll be doing a vlog, of course, from the Derby, from the away end. Uh, but thanks for, for joining us for this one.